exalt Emmanuel, exalt Jehovah God. Thank Lord Jesus. Thank Almighty God. Let's begin to thank Him. Lord, we give you the praise. We give you all the glory. Let the honor be unto you, o God. Let all the adoration be unto your name. Somebody of us and just going to appreciate you over God for the goodness of our God, for the faithfulness of all the King. Let's give that praise to Him. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we give you, Lord, we give you praise. We give you praise, O oh God. We give you praise, Jehovah God. Somebody thank Him right now. Just begin to thank Him. Just begin to exalt Him, magnify Him. Magnify the Lord with all your heart, with everything that see you. Let everything that have breath praise Him. Let everything that have breath worship the Lord, give that praise to the King. Let everything that have breath thank the Lord, thank the Lion of Judah, worship the El Shaddai. Let everything that have breath praise God this morning. Thank Him for what He has done for you and thank Him that for what you will receive before Him. Let's give that praise to God Almighty. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Somebody thank Him this morning. Thank Him. Let's exhort Jesus. Let's lift our voice in praise to the King. Let's lift our voice in praise to El Shaddai. Let's lift our voice in praise to O many science God. Lift our voice in praise to Him. Jehovah God, we thank you, Lord, because you reign in majesty. You reign in power. Thank Him concerning your life. Thank Him concerning your children. Thank Him concerning your family. Thank Him for what He's doing in your life. Let's appreciate Him for what He's doing in your life. Let's give that praise to Him. Let's give that honor to Him. Let's give that adoration to Him. Jehovah God, we worship you. Jehovah God, we worship you. Jehovah God, we worship you. Oh, let's begin to thank Him. Let's begin to worship Him. Give that honor to Him. Give that honor, give that praise to Him. Give that honor to Him, give that glory to Him. Let's lift our eyes and give God the praise. Lift your voice and bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, omnipotent God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, omnipotent God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Somebody begin to thank Him. Somebody worship Him. Give that praise to Him. Give that honor to the Lord. Give that praise to the King of Kings. Give that praise to the Lord of Lords. Give that praise to El Shaddai. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Worship Him. Lift a voice. Bless Him. Give praise, give honor to Him, give adoration to Him. Thank you, Lord, for His sacrifice for us on the cross of Calvary. Lift your voice, bless Him. Give that praise to Him. Lord, we thank you. Somebody thank Him right now. Jehovah God, we give you praise. Oh, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise. Somebody thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. Hallelujah. 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 Jehovah God, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. 
lift your voice and thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank Holy Spirit. Thank Lord. Thank Him for a beautiful morning. Thank Him for His plan. Thank Him, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank Him, Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, thank Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Say the name of the Lord is a strong tower. He said the righteous run into him and they are safe. I mean, is the place you can run into, is a place you can hide yourself. Oh, and he saved the righteous. Lift up because of that name. I want to begin to appreciate him right now. I want to begin to lift a voice and give that praise and give honor to that name. Jesus, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, we worship you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we praise you. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Almighty God. Receive my prayer. So, Lord. Oh, Lord. 
such things it demands from us when we are coming to him. He wants us to come with a thanksgiving heart before the Lord. That we should appreciate him, thank him, say, Lord, why, why, Pastor, why am I going to appreciate God? I need this in my life. I'm still waiting for it. Oh, he has done something for you. That's why you need to thank him. Thank him for that privilege of coming to him. Thank him as you appreciate him. He's going to do great. He's going to do more in your life. Let's give that praise to the king. Father, receive my praise this morning. Father, receive my praise this morning. Lift your voice. Tell him, Lord, receive my praise this morning. Glory and honor I bring unto you. Lift your voice and just begin to appreciate him. Glory and honor I bring unto you. Father, receive my praise, O God. Somebody begin to thank him for what he has done for you. Begin to thank him for what he will do in your life. Begin to thank him for the grace that you have received. Glory and honor I bring unto you. Jehovah God, receive my praise, O God. Somebody thank him for what he has done. Thank him for what he will do. Thank him for the grace that you have received from the Lord. Daddy, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for great things that you have done for us. For great things that you will do in our life. For great things that you are doing right now. Father, we appreciate you. Father, we honor you. Father, we bless you. Be that exalted, O God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let us begin to ask the Lord. The Lord Jehovah God begin to forgive every sin. Whatever sin that may be. The Lord Jehovah God begin to forgive us all our sins. Let's begin to ask him, my father, let every sin be forgiven. I want to begin to lift your voice and pray to God. That Lord Jehovah God to forgive every sin. Whatever sin that may be. Let's lift our voice to God, the Lord God of heaven to forgive us all our sins, all our iniquities. All our trespasses, all our transgression. Let's begin to pray to God of heaven. That Lord Jehovah God, forgive me all my sins, O God. Let's begin to lift our voice to him. Let all my sin be forgiven, O God. Open your heart to pray. Let's lift our voice to God. Open your heart to God, the Lord God of heaven, to forgive us all our sins, all our iniquity. All our trespasses, all our transgression, let's lift our voice to Him. That Lord Jehovah God to forgive every sin that may be in our life, in our heart, in our own. That Lord God of heaven to forgive us all our sins. Open your heart and begin to pray. Dip yourself in that blood of Jesus Christ. Dip yourself in that blood that wash away sins, that remove every iniquities of our heart. Open your heart to pray. Open your heart to God. Lift your voice. Dip yourself in that blood of Jesus. That the blood of Jesus begin to wash you. In the name of Jesus. That the blood of Jesus begin to purify you. That the blood of Jesus begin to purify your heart. Begin to purify your spirit, soul and body. Open your heart to pray. Lift your voice to God. That the blood of Jesus begin to purify you. Let the blood of Jesus purify me, purify my heart, purify my soul, purify my heart, purify my spirit, soul, and body. In Katoli Masun to Yalaba, Le Prendo Suko Toli Makakaraba, Le Prendo Suko Toli Makashen Telebo, La Prende Tike Telebo, Ripatute Kesu Toyagaba, Le Prendo Tuke Telema Sin Telebo. La prendo tike telima. Let the blood of Jesus wash away every iniquity of your heart, every trespasses of your heart. Let the blood of Jesus of Nazareth begin to wash it away. Somebody begin to pray. Let the blood of Jesus wash away that sin in the name of Jesus. Cleanse us in Jesus' name. We pray. Why the, the, the Jesus, the blood has to wash away? 
because sin is an instrument in the hand of the accuser. Sin is an instrument in the hand of the accuser against us. When they sin, the accuser use it. Oh, see what this person is doing, and you say this and that. That's why God need to purify us and sanctify. And the blood of Jesus Christ is enough to wash away every sin, to cleanse us from every iniquity, and we have that repentance of art. Sin is an instrument in the hands of the enemies to fight against our life, to fight against the progress, to fight against success in our life. But when we apply the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus wash away sins. When we repent of sins, Jesus Christ is ever ready to forgive us that sin. Open your heart and pray. Say, I plead the blood of Jesus over every sin of my life, over every generation sin. La prende que te le mosun to yaba. Plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood. The blood of the land. Begin to plead the blood. I plead the blood of the land. Over me, iniquity of my heart. Over me, iniquity of my life. Plead the blood of Jesus. My yaramaka son to yagaba. The blood of Jesus. Wash away my sin. Purify me, sanctify me. In the name of Jesus. Make me righteous, O God. Somebody pray ikato yala masin to yaba. Le prendo suko toli masin tilebo. Pray the Lord Juba God to make you righteous, O God. Father, make me righteous, O God. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to pray the laba o shikata yaba. Le prendo suke tilebo. Make me righteous, O God. Open your heart to God. The Lord should make you righteous. In the name of Jesus, ikato li masin tilebo. Open your heart to God. The Lord should make you righteous. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let's say, Lord, I come to you this morning. Have mercy upon my life. My life needs your mercy. I want to begin to lift your voice and tell the Lord, the Lord, I will come to you. I will run to you, O God. Open your heart and pray. Daddy, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Don't just say, have mercy on me. Upon what? But numerous that call for mercy that day. O Kata, in that day, what after then Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? Don't just say, Have mercy on me. Tell, tell him, Lord, have mercy upon me, upon my children. Have mercy upon my life. What do you tell him, him to do for you? In the name of Jesus, have mercy upon me, O God. Have mercy upon me to save my soul. In the name of Jesus. Have mercy upon me to redeem me. Have mercy upon me to bless me. Somebody tell him to have mercy upon my family. Have mercy upon my children. Somebody pray. Have mercy upon me. In the name of Jesus, show me your favor, O God. Somebody pray that Lord should have mercy upon your life, upon your children, upon your family. Pray, pray, pray to God. Pray that Lord you have God to have mercy in the name of Jesus upon your life. Open your heart to God in the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. La te katoli masikata. Le katoli makasinto yeke telebo. Pray the Lord Jehovah God to have mercy upon your life in the name of Jesus. Have mercy upon me, O God. Somebody begin to pray for the mercy of God over your life, for the mercy of God over your children, for the mercy of God over your family, for the mercy of God in your home, for the mercy of God. Open your heart to God. The Lord should show mercy today. Let the mercy of God prevail. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to God that the mess of God to prevail today. In the name of Jesus, that the mess of God to prevail in every areas of your life, that the mess of God to prevail. In the name of Jesus, in every areas of your home, in the name of Jesus, that the mess of God to prevail. Somebody pray, open your heart to God. Tell the Lord, in the name of Jesus, open your heart to end. 
in the name of Jesus. Masika tayaba, mateli masike tilebo, mateli makata. Somebody pray, the Lord Jehovah God, mayete teli asate, in the name of Jesus, to have mercy in every area of your life, open your heart to pray. Pray and tell Jesus to have mercy. Father, have mercy on me in the name of Jesus to restore my blessing. Have mercy on me in the name of Jesus. Mataya la bakashin telebo. La prende tike telebo. La prende tite telebo. Le prende kateli masin telebo. La prende tili moshin telebo. La prende telebo. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessing Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Open your heart and pray. Say, Daddy, visit my life, O oh God. This morning, I need divine visitation of your glory. Daddy, visit my life, O oh God. Daddy, visit me at the point of my need, O oh God. Daddy, visit me. That's why you are here. You want to experience the touch of God. You want to experience the touch of God. That's why you are here. And this touch of God is not it's not something that it will hide from you. You see, those that search me will surely find me. So the touch of God can be revealed to you. It's something that you can see. It's something that you can feel. Hallelujah. The touch of God is something that you can see. It's something that you can feel it. You can feel the healing of God in your body. You can feel that something happened for you. Open your heart to God. Tell the Lord, Daddy, let me experience the touch of you. In the name of Jesus. Then begin to lift your voice to God. That Lord Jehovah God, let me experience the touch of you, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Somebody begin to pray to God. Daddy, let me experience the touch of your power. Somebody begin to pray to God. Open your heart to God. Daddy, let me experience the touch of you. In the name of Jesus, somebody open your heart and pray. Talk to God right now. Wherever you are in the Yalabaka Shindeli Open your heart to God that you want to experience the touch of heaven. In the name of Jesus, that touch that breaks the yoke, that touch that delivers. In the name of Jesus, can you lift your voice to God of heaven that you want to experience the touch of God's power? You want to experience the touch of God's glory? You want to experience the touch of God in that, in that areas of your life that you are believing God in this season. In that area of your life that you are trusting God for the move of His power, for the move of His glory. In the name of Jesus, let prayer begin to pray. Say, Lord, let me experience the touch of you. Daddy, let me experience the touch of your power this morning. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to pray. My Father, let me experience the touch of your glory. In the name of Jesus, that every yoke of my life break. Every yoke of my life break. Every sickness disappear. Open your heart and pray. Father, let everyone that look unto you experience your touch this morning. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. In every areas of our life, oh God, that we are looking unto you for a miracle. In any areas of our life, that we are believing you for a breakthrough. In any areas of our life, oh God, that we are trusting you for a turn around. Open your heart to pray in every areas of our life. Mayete keri moson to yaba. Neko roba tike le moson telebo. Open your heart and pray. Ne katali masin telebo. Le prendo tu katali masin telebo. Open your heart to God. Le pashin telebo. La prende kito robo shan telebo. Open your heart to God in any areas of Allah. In the name of Jesus, that we need the move of you. That we need the move of your power. That we need the move of your glory. Somebody pray in the name of Jesus. Father, let me. 
me experience the touch of your glory. Let me experience the touch of your power. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to pray. My Lord and my God, in the name of Jesus, my Lord and my Jehovah God, open your heart to pray that you want to experience the touch of heaven. You want to experience the touch of God that breaks the yoke in your life, that breaks the yoke of enemy in your own, that breaks the yoke of enemy in your family. In the name of Jesus, somebody pray to God. Open your heart and pray the touch of God that set life free, that delivers life, the touch of God that take your life to the next level, the touch of God that will move every mountains of your life, the touch of God that will change the story of your home. Pray for the touch of God in the name of Jesus. That touch of God that will bring healing to your life. The touch of God that will lift you up. Somebody pray you need it. In Jesus' name, we pray. That means when you are asking for the touch of God, you are asking for the power of God to come upon your life. Those that we see their story in the scripture experience the touch. Every one of them experienced that touch. Everyone. Anna experienced the touch of God. Remember at one point in time, every year she was going there crying. Crying. She went there every, every year. Crying. But one day the Lord touched her. Ah. That's what you need in your life. The touch of God that breaks the yoke. The touch of God that will heal you. The touch of God that will bring what you have been trusting God that will bring it out for you. The touch of God that will shake the unshakable of your life. I want you to open your heart to pray, brethren. Lift your voice to Jesus Christ of Nazareth and tell him, Daddy, I need that touch this morning. Daddy, I need that touch this morning. The touch of your glory, the touch of your power that shake the unshakable, that touch the untouchable, that remove unremovable. In the name of Jesus, I want you to open your mouth and pray. Everlasting Father, I need that touch down in my life, in my home. I need that touch now in the life of my children. I need that touch now. Ilia makoso do yarabagaba. Ilia makoso do yimakatayaba. You need that touch of God. Ili mokoporo bosunto yaba. You need that touch of God. In the end, mokosunto liboko shindia. Open your heart to pray. Pray to God. In the limokosundo yimakasidia. Open your heart to God. You need the touch of heaven. The touch of heaven that breaks the yoke of enemy from you. The touch of heaven that moves every mountain from your life. The touch of heaven that will lead your life to a place of liberty. The touch of heaven that will shake the unshakable. The touch of heaven that will move the unmovable. Open your heart to pray. I need it this morning. I need this this morning. I need it this morning. I need that touch this morning. Can you open your heart to pray? Father, in the name that is above every other name. Jehovah God, we need the touch of your God. Jehovah God, we need the touch of your power. Jehovah God, we need the touch of your glory. Jehovah God, I need that touch, oh God. In the name of Jesus, that touch of heaven that will remove your sorrow from you. In the name of Jesus, that will remove that disappointment from your life. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, let me experience that touch of you. The touch of your healing. The touch. 
open your heart to pray the thought of God's healing, the thought of God's power in the name of Jesus, the thought of God's deliverance in the name of Jesus that will move the unmovable of your life, that will touch the untouchable of your life, that will shake the unshakable of your life, that will break the yoke of your life, that will turn things around. Lendo yema kasundo yeba lende remo kusonto le masintia lem predo tu ke tele masi open your heart to pray father let me experience that touch in the name of jesus that touch that will shake the unshakable that will shake the unshakable of your life in the name of jesus let me experience that touch in that business in that you've done your very business the touch of god that will move that business forward in the name of jesus in Jesus' name, we pray. The Bible told us in Isaiah chapter 14, verse 31. It said, but they who wait on the Lord. And that's what we are doing this morning. What you are doing this morning, you are waiting on the Lord. He said, one thing will happen to you. It shall renew the strength. If the strength is renewed, you're able to get to where you are going in life. If the strength is renewed, you're able to make it in life. You know why some people are not making it? Because at one point in time, they are tired. They can't move forward anymore. They have been shattered. They have been broken. But if your strength is renewed, you're able to get what you want in life. And the Bible told you that those that wait on the Lord, those, what you are doing now, is part of it. Waiting on the Lord. Waiting on the Lord. Say, Lord, I'm waiting on you. You see, he shall renew the strength of you. His strength also is of his touch. When the Lord touch you, the strength will renew. The strength you overtake. Have you ever seen in the scripture that, that a man had run car? The strength of Elijah was renewed on that day that you know he had run the car like me they okay let me and car have a, a relay you know because of the touch of god upon elijah he had run the chariot of ahab with his leg because the strength of god rests on him listen when god renew that your strength when you experience the, the touch of god the strength be renewed. Today the Lord will take you higher in the name of Jesus. And see when the strength is renewed, see what is going to happen. He said, they shall mount up with a wings like eagles. You know, and when you look at the eagles, what is the one of, is the is the, is the, is the, is the, is the, he can fly from one continent to another. They are powerful. When God is comparing us with, uh, is a metaphor or like uh, the, the strength of that animal. They can soar high, they can fly higher. Even though they can bring down a big prey, a big animal big, bigger than them. That's how their strength. He said they shall run and not be wearied. You will not be tired of your life. You know, some people are walking. People say, oh, I'm tired of my life. I don't know what to do. The Bible says when the strength is renewed, you will not be wearied. You know, many wearied life all over the world. Many wearied dreams all over the world. The Bible said now, when your strength is renewed, when God take you higher, when God take you higher, you will not wearied of your life. There will not be anything in your life that will frustrate you. You know, sir, enemy, what the enemy wants to do is to frustrate every effort of your life that you begin to think things is not working. Things is not moving. Things is not getting better. The Bible say no. They that wait on the Lord. That means those that look unto God. That I pray. That call upon the Lord. That their strength will be renewed. I pray this morning. 
that your strength will be renewed. Say that, amen, that your life will experience the touch of God, that you will not be tired in the name of Jesus, that you will not be tired, that you will not be tired, that you will not be tired, it's time for God to take you higher, open your mouth and pray, say, Father, I wait on you this morning, my strength be renewed, renew my strength financially, open your heart and pray, renew my strength spiritually, Somebody pray equal to Yaba. Renew my strength in my body. Open your heart to pray. He Say you will not be wearied. You will not be tired. In Jesus' name, we pray. When you begin to hear people say, Oh, I just I just want to um let this word just finish. Let, let everybody go. There's something going on in their life. If you hear somebody say, Oh, let just everything just finish. Um, um I don't. Oh, this life, you know, I just want, let everything just come to an end. I mean, the person is not enjoying life. Hallelujah. Why in a hurry? Why you want to go to heaven in a hurry? Where are you going to live there forever and ever and ever? Even though God don't want you to come in a hurry. Except he has a plan for you, that you know you see ahead of you, see there's something coming. That's why she told you that there's no need for you to come to heaven in a hurry. Because you're going to stay with me for a long time. Hallelujah. Do you know what they mean? Entana. Eternity. Eternity, which is eternity means forever. You're going to be with. So God don't really need you to come to heaven in a hurry. You know, I'm tired. You know? Let everything just end. Let everything just you know, come to an end. That means something's going on in, your, in their life. They are not really enjoying it. So they are enjoying the fullness of life because God created us for us to enjoy the fullness of life. God created us to enjoy the fullness of life. So his purpose in the beginning, his purpose never changed. And what is the purpose? To replenish the earth. That's the purpose. Remember, sin came after. Sin is not, is not part of God's purpose. Hallelujah. Sin enter into one man, which is Satan. Sin enter into one man. Sin enter. You know, he has sin enter into him. And uh, you know, to dish, and God sent him away. And also know in his heart, I'm not only one going, I'm not only one, I will bring everything down because of his pride heart. Pride will lead to many things in our life. If there is pride in us, it will lead to many things. Pride will lead to many things. That's what has happened to Satan. One sin leading to many sin in his life. Not to want to destroy the work of God, want to destroy things, want to kill, want to steal, because of just one sin enter into him. And that sin led to many sins. Hallelujah. So there's no need, if you see people saying, Oh, let's let this world just come to an end. Let everything just finish. There's something they are not enjoying. To them, they are enjoying the fullness of God. He said, No, no, I'm not ready to go. Let me enjoy my life. Today, I pray you begin to enjoy your life. Say that, Amen. You begin to enjoy. That's the purpose of God for you. That's what I'm trying to say. That God wants you to enjoy your life. He wants you to have heaven on earth. Let your kingdom come as it is in heaven. You want the kingdom, what the kingdom of God as it is in heaven, you want that kingdom to come upon your life. As on today, you begin to enjoy your life. Say that, amen, you begin to enjoy your life. In the name of Jesus, as on today, you begin to enjoy your life. You are not tired of your life. You are not tired of your dreams. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and join me in agreement. Every power, every spirit, every situation that want me to tired of my life, Holy Spirit, bring me out of it. 
Ikatayapa put a power under my feet today. Every situation that you are in, every power that don't want you to enjoy your life. Ikoto nama ko produko to yaba. Open your heart to pray that Lord Jehovah God put that sikato in a kapayaba. Tell the Lord me koto ni machine delebo. Somebody open your heart and pray. Every situation of your life, every situation that I'm in that don't want me to enjoy my life. Ayala bagada gada gaba. Ayada bagozo dogo dogo bo. Anda yemoko son to limoshin telebo. Open your heart to pray le kato ye le moko shin telebo. Matori makason to limasi lebo. La prende keto limasin telebo. La prende tike telimo sante yaba. Mayana mako son to limakasin telebo. Le prendo tu koto limasin telebo. Open your heart to pray. Nataya nanama. La prendo tu kete limasin telebo. Open your heart to God in the name of Jesus. Every situation of your life that don't want you to enjoy your life. As the Lord me kato yanama kasin to lebo. Le prendo tu koto limasin telebo. Mayanana makoto tori makasin telebo. La teke teli masin telebo. La prende kito limakasin telebo. La prendo tu kata yema. La prende tike teli masin telebo. La prendo tu ke telebo. La prendo koto toli masin telebo. La prendo tu kata yaba. Open your heart and pray to God. La prendo tu ke teli masin telebo. In the name of Jesus. Every situation of your life that don't want you to enjoy yourself. Ikotoli makata yaba. Ikotoli masin telebo. In Jesus name. We pray. I pray for you today. And I come in agreement with you. That every situation of your life that you are in. That don't, that don't allow you to enjoy your life. That situation of your life that did not give you that joy. That don't let you enjoy the fullness of God. I pray may Jehovah God bring you out of it. May you come out of it. May you come out of it. Say that amen. May you come out of it. May you come out of that situation. Every power that want to hold you down. Every power say no, you are not going. Every power, you know, sometimes people want to leave. People want to come out of some situation. So power will say no, you are not going. Every power that say no, you are not going to come out. Every power that say no, you are not going to leave. Every power that say no, that you are not coming out of this. Let Holy Spirit consume them by fire. By fire, by fire, by fire. You are coming out. You are coming now. You are coming now. In Jesus' name, we pray. Be a blessing this morning. Hallelujah. Look at it very well. Psalm 23, verse 1 to 6. The Bible told us, The Lord is my shepherd. That means what it means, say being a shepherd means someone that is taking care of a sheep. I mean, is the Lord, the shepherd, is the carer for the sheep. The shepherd is the carer for the sheep. I mean, is is one that is responsible for their feeding, for their security, for things in their life. So that's the duty of a shepherd to protect, to secure, to guide. To provide, to take them to a place where they are secure. Now I said, the Lord God is that very shepherd. I mean, God need to protect, God need to secure, God need to guide, and He's not He's not He's not tired of doing it. He's been doing it every day. He's been doing it in our life. I always say there's a danger all over. I'm telling you, oh, just one step. But, you know, the danger is all left and right, all over. Danger is, do you think Satan just fold off his hand, don't carry his eye? Oh, is, is the is protection of God that you don't experience it? Satan is not folding his hand. Oh, everything just runs smoothly today. Satan don't want today to run smoothly because God has sent his angels before you to prepare a place for you. That's why you go out and you come back in, hallelujah, without any scratch, without anything, and you think everything just went, well, everything just, no, 
you know, go smoothly. Hallelujah. The everything that has been wending smoothly for you, because in the past, because yesterday, day before, because of God, I've sent his angels to go ahead of you to prepare a place. Satan don't fold his hand. He's not folding his hand. So let me, I'm tired. Let me just, you know, let me rest. No, he's working 24 hours. He's working 24 hours to destroy. He's working 24 hours. Do you know many things that happened today? Go and look at the news yesterday. Go and look all over. Things is going on. But God is, is protecting you. He's sending his angel to go ahead of you to protect your life. I pray that God will continue his work. He said to us, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I mean, no lacking of any good things. I shall not want. Because he's a shepherd. He has to protect you. You shall not lack of security. You shall not lack of, of, his, of his provision. You cannot, you cannot lack of, you shall not lack of all his blessing. Because he's the shepherd of your life. Open your heart and pray. Tell the Lord. Say, Father, you are my shepherd. Open my doors of miracle. Lead me to my place of breakthrough. I want to open your mouth and begin to tell him. Say, Father, you are my shepherd. Open the doors of my fulfillment. Lead me to my place of success. Can you lift your voice and begin to pray? La patoya la makashinde de bukutoria. La mbrendo tukele makaparu bangaina. Le sondo ye makashendo robo shantileba. Open your heart to God, Lord, you are my shepherd. Lead me, 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 oh God. Maya la baga da baga sento ye gebo. Lambrendo tu koto lima kato lima kashin telebo. Lande limo koto lima shin telebo. Lord, you are my shepherd. Lead me to my place of joy. Somebody pray to God that Lord God of heaven begin to lead you. Maya na na makaparuba nteli ma sin telebo. Open your heart to pray. Ne kataya na makasin dia. Open your heart to Jesus. That Lord God of heaven begin to lead you. The Lord is your shepherd. He say you shall not want. Open your heart to pray that Lord God of heaven to lead you to a place of breakthrough, a place of fulfillment in life. Somebody pray to God. God is your shepherd. The yoke of enemy, the yoke of that barrenness was break. Is your shepherd. He said, You shall not want, you shall not lack anything because it's the shepherd of your life, because it's the shepherd of your dream. He said, You shall not want. You shall not lack that breakthrough. You shall not lack that success because he's your shepherd. My father, you are my shepherd, oh God. Lead me, lead me in Jesus' name. We pray. See the duty of him. You can tell the duty of God. The duty of the shepherd. He led, he say, he lead me beside the still water. Beside not a, a, a water that a if a, a, a water that will swallow you, that will that will that will that will that will swallow your life, but he led you, he said, lead me beside this tea, a place of calmness. Is lead God is going to lead you to a place of calmness, not a place of trouble. If something is leading you to me, probably be yourself or enemy. Self can lead someone to a place. Of trouble where there is no obedience to the voice of God. You see, he lead me beside the still water, and now what he does again, he restore my soul. That means he restored everything back to you. Today, the Lord will restore everything back to you. It for his for his name because of his duty. You see, for his name's sake, for his name, not because of it, because of his responsibility. Being of a shepherd, a shepherd, a true shepherd, which is Jesus, because of his that name, sake of being a savior. Today, the Lord will reveal Himself. Not only that, look at the duty of Him. He said, He set a table before you in the presence of your enemies. That means God, what God is telling you, that word is telling us that God wants you to prosper in front of those. That don't want you to prosper. 
you set it a white God is setting table before them that ate you. Because God wants you to prosper in front of those that don't want you to prosper. Those that don't want to see your joy. Those that don't want you to see you married. Those that don't want you to see you carry your baby. The will of God and the purpose of God for you is for you to them to see those things. He pray, he, he set a table before the one that ate me. What is in that table? That the desires of your heart. That the, what is in that table is the fulfillment of your dream. What is that in that table? Is the joy of your marriage. What is that table? Is your breakthrough that God wanted to experience in the presence of those that ate you. In the presence of those that don't want to see that your joy. Why is he setting the table for them to see that he is your shepherd? I pray today, let Jehovah God begin to set that table. Now, in the name of Jesus, let Jehovah God begin to set that table. It's time. Let Jehovah God set that table of your breakthrough, of your healing, of your fulfillment in the presence of those that said, No, you don't know what is it is a great shame. Those that say you cannot make it and they realize it, that you, have, you make it in life. They will hide their face. Go and ask the brethren of Joseph. They are the one that can know how it feels because they felt it at the end of their, of their evil works. Bouncing back on them thought that very man will not be something in life. They want to cut him off of his dream. But God of heaven, make his dream come to pass. Anyone that want to cut you off of your dreams, that want to cut your children off of, your, off of their dreams, that want to cut your life of, their dream, of your dreams, today, ever we shame them. Ever we shame them. Ever we shame them. Say that, amen. In the name of, in their presence, they will see it. Mokaya la makasata. Loprendo koprogoto ya. Lesondo eketelebo. What they say that you cannot do. That thing that you say that you cannot have. Iketelebo kosutia. Ebu give it to you now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. That thing that said that you cannot have in life anymore. Moyali emako pasuta yaba. Loporo bakata. Let your God. Give it to you in the name of Jesus. Let's Holy Spirit turn your story around. It's time for God to take you higher. Begin to go higher. Higher in the name of Jesus. Higher in the name of Jesus. He said when people are saying, let us be casting down. You shall say, they shall be lifting up in the name of Jesus. Your portion shall be lifting up. Your dream shall be lifting up in the name of Jesus. Let God of heaven begin to lift you up. Lift you higher. Lift you higher. Lift to Aya in the name of Jesus. The Bible told us in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. He said, You can do all things to this God that strengthens you. That means all things can be possible for you. That means if you desire it and it's the will of God for you, you can have it. I can do all things. All things you can make it. Your children can do better. Is that not the word that told us? In Psalm 55, verse 22, he said, cast your body upon him. Today, every body of your life, let every Holy Spirit take it. Let That's the reason you pray. That's the reason that you will pray. You know, I don't know whether you see the prayer in that area of help. And you must experience it. Like, it's a reality like someone going to a social welfare, a social welfare, uh, Yes, welfare, please, to look for help. Maybe somebody's need money, need food, you know, the social service that people, you know, we go to, you know, and they will ask for help. The same thing, God of heaven. A place in the presence of God is a place where you need help and you must experience that help. Because God, oh, why you don't want to why God don't want you to experience God wants you to experience that help. He wants you to see that help in your life. He told you, cast your burden on the Lord and he shall sustain you. 
he will not permit you, he will not permit the righteous to be moved. Now, what is that your burden this morning? What is saying to you? Leave that thing for God. Cast it upon, leave it for him. You don't have money this morning. Is that money you need? Or you need healing in your body? Say, Lord, I leave this thing for you. Can you begin to say, I want you to open your mouth and pray to God. I want you to quote that scripture, Psalm 55, verse 22. Say, Daddy, I stand upon Psalm 55, verse 22 this morning, that you told me to cast this on you, to leave this thing for you. Oh, thank you, my, thank you, my daddy. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I want you to open your mouth and pray and talk to God. Tell the Lord, Psalm 55, verse 22. Say, Lord, you told me to leave this thing for you and you will take care of it. Now I'm beginning to tell him, Lord, I leave this for you. I leave this for you, God. Concerning my life, I leave this for you. You told me because you care for me. You told me because you, I want you to open your mouth. I don't know what you have been going through. Tell him now. He told you, I'm standing upon Psalm 55, verse 22 this morning. Oh God. You told me to cast this, this upon you. He said, I should leave this thing for you. That's what he's saying. He's not, he said, cast it upon him. Leave this for me. Because he cares. He said, he will never suffer you to be troubled. He said, he will never suffer you to be moved. Is that not what he's saying? Look at the scripture very well. That means that thing will not overcome you. You will not end up in failure upon that issue in life. Now, open your mouth and tell him, oh, Daddy, you told me to leave this for you. Tell him, Daddy, you told me to leave this concerning my paper for you. Daddy, you told me to leave this concerning my children. For you. That's what I'm doing this morning. I'm standing upon that your word. I'm standing upon Psalm 55, verse 22, that you told me to cast because you care for me. And you said to me that you will never suffer me to fail. You will never suffer me to be cut away, but to be put to shame. You will never suffer me to die untimely death. Ilya, makai lima saida. Lo brando kuposonto lima sindi libo kotai abo. La teli makashindi libo. Daddy, as your people are casting their burden upon you, God. In that lima kasado yaba. As your people are casting their burden on you, God. As they are living this thing for you, God, this morning. Father, let them begin to see the help of you. Let them begin to see the help of you. Father, let them begin to see the help of you. In the name of Jesus, my Lord and my God, as they are living this issue for you, O God. As they are living this issue in their life for you, O God. My Father and my King. As they are living it for your Holy Spirit, begin to take care of it. As they are living this for your Holy Spirit, begin to take care of it, Uga. And as they are living this thing for your Holy Spirit, begin to have your way in it, Uga. As they are living it for your Holy Spirit, begin to move upon it right now. In the name of Jesus, let them begin to experience their healing. Let them begin to experience their breakthrough. Let them begin to experience their success. In every area they are looking unto you, they cast it upon you this morning. Father, take care of them, O God. Take care of because you have said in your word that you will never suffer them for them to be moved. You said in your word that you will never suffer them to be, to, for them to be moved. Let your papa they cast it on you, O God. They leave this thing for you. Holy Spirit of God, take care of it, Holy Spirit. You are delivered in Jesus' name. By the power of the Lord, you are delivered from that battle. You are delivered from that struggle. You are delivered from that shame. In the name of Jesus, we come in agreement today 
that that battle is over. Your shame is over. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Can you begin to shout hallelujah for your victory? Can you begin to shout hallelujah? Ilia makoso toli makapra ataye. Zodemeka toli masiti lebo. Give God the praise for what he has done for you. Landaya na makopa ropate. Tifato ishatele. Give God the praise. Indo ya makateli masiti lebo. For turning tite ike li makasate. Le brendo tuke li makata yabo. For turning that situation of your life around now. Ili makaparo pate katayaba. Le sondo ye makateli masinti lebo. Give God the praise. Thank you, good God. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Amen. 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 I don't know whether you believe it is going to happen. Don't worry about it anymore. Didn't know he told us, leave it for me. That's what he's saying. Don't pick it up again. Say, oh, how am I going to do it? I, I is going to happen. That's not my. That's not. That's not my concern. My concern is just bringing it to him and leave it for him. Hallelujah. Don't worry. Begin to expect it. Open doors for it. Hallelujah. And you will see the miracle of God happening in your life. Without no doubt. This morning, Jesus, I told you to come with all your burdens, will show up stronger in your life. You are coming with a testimony in the name of Jesus. Everything around you, everything around you begin to respond to your miracle. Everything around you begin to yield to your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Everything around you will begin to respond. Everything around you will begin to respond to that your miracle. You will come with a testimony. So shall it be in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I just put in mind that the prayer continue tonight. At, today is Thursday, you know, at midnight by 12.31. I know the Lord you will go do great things in your life. I pray in every area that you have been a support of this ministry. I pray the Lord you will go will bless you. And we increase you. I pray for every one of you. The Lord Jehovah God will increase you in every areas of your life. In the name of Jesus. Go in this God's blessing. And return with a great testimony. Go in this God's blessing. And return with a great testimony. So shall it be. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. The water is covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. Let it bring healing to your body. In Jesus' name. Let's share the grace together. For the grace of Jesus Christ. Don't worry. The Lord, I'm telling you, the Lord says, don't worry. I don't know anyone that is in. Don't ask. Even though you have you are free, don't worry. You know, I don't know why I'm saying that to you. Don't worry, don't worry. Even though you are free, you know. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Take it out of your heart. Let's share the grace together. For the grace of Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the Spirit for the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and message are follow us. All the days of life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Can you shout a victorious hallelujah? Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you for being here. God bless you. See you tonight. Bye bye.